as great as a player as, as DJ Swearinger was, a captain when he first got there with the Washington Redskins, at some point and some time, you have to follow the rules, it, it, with, especially when the coaches lay down the, the law as far as what should be said and what should not be said to the media. And I think he got a little bit out of bounds, and we've seen the reaction by the Redskins. They got tired of it, and they moved on. <laughs> you know what, Dan? I, I – I actually agree with that, but the only problem I have when you look at the Washington Redskins organization, this is the same organization yep. that claimed Reuben Foster off waivers. Yep. I mean, think, think about that. You're going to cut DJ Swearinger, <laughs> yep. who by, by, every, by every account has had a Pro Bowl-type season yep. because he's, you know, mouthed off in the media about, about the coach. But then you claim Reuben Foster, who's had all sorts of problems uh, as far as, you know, assault or domestic violence – and you claim him. So, to me, when I look at the Washington Redskins organization, it's just, it's just a mess. It's hypocritical. Absolutely. You, you know, you can't what, – what, what type of messages are you sending if you're playing in the locker room? You know, what exactly are you thinking here? All right? Because to me, it wasn't like DJ Swearinger was lying or anything like that. Oh, he, he, was being, he was being, frankly <laughs> – yes. he was being very, you know, honest in, in his assessment of what was going on. But on the other end, you claim, you claim a guy who's, you know, who the uh, San Francisco 49ers got rid of because of all sorts of legal trouble. So, to me, this looks just – it's just terrible on Washington for making such a rash move to get rid of a guy who's really been a leader and, and, and one of their better players on their, on their roster. Well, clearly they don't care too much about morality, but they care about uh, the, the way you treat your coach, the way you treat your teammates. Are you a, con a cancer in or out of the locker room? And DJ Swearinger have become that problem. And when your talent – is outweighed by the way you talk or the things Absolutely. you do. And you got to understand, when they sign a guy by the name of Ha Ha Clinton Dix, now he was dispensable. They didn't need him. They no longer needed him on roster, and he wasn't uh, mature enough at the point in his career to actually understand, hey, play your role, keep your mouth shut. Oh, and then look around, my, my quarterback went out? Oh, we're losing now? This isn't the same squad. So uh, a lesson learned, and I hope that he really takes those words to heart and he wasn't just giving lip service to the media and saying, man, I learned my lesson, man. Keep your mouth shut, go out and play, have fun, do what you need to do, young fella. But you got to understand, ultimately, this is a business and you don't know who you offend by going out and making comments because the last thing you want is the front page of the internet at ESPN.com them to see your comments about how your head coach was lacking or your defensive coordinator couldn't do his job or how you felt, whether he was right or not, Woody. You, you've been right in situations. You ain't go to the media and say nothing, Woody. Darren, I, ain't, I know you ain't do it. Okay, yeah, let, me so, add, let, me ask you, let me ask you this, Ryan. How many teams out there can afford to give away just good, you know, let go of good players? I mean, listen, in, a, in a league, players drive the system. And I understand, yeah. I understand where you're coming from. And, and Darren Woodson said the same thing as far as, you know, being critical of, of people through the media. You, you, you typically want to keep things in-house. But it wasn't like this dude was a scrub. This no, dude no, was, that's this true. Was a, that, 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 that is so true. We're talking about Washington, Red, Washington Redskins team. You yep. know, you getting that, you getting down to it, it yeah. was battling trying to get into the playoffs. And you're going to end up cutting a Pro Bowl safety that could help you? That yeah, but that, help hey, you but but Woody, uh, listen, listen, let's just be real. What that, mate? But he and Ha Ha Clinton Dix, they play the same position. So you got two dudes who don't necessarily complement each other on the field. Yes, they're talent. Yes, I would love to try to find yeah. a way to make it work. It was a beautiful thing. But ultimately, I'm fine. I'm weighing it out, and we lose it. Are you the first to go? Yeah, but listen, there's, there's a little bit of give and take here. We all, I think, we've known for a long time that that DJ Swearinger is a hard worker. He watches tons mm. of film. He's a guy that shows up and does the right thing. As far as within that locker room, he's a disciplined football player, and there's an expectation that he has not only on the other players involved that he plays with, the guys next to him, but the coaching staff as well. He holds people accountable, and that's the re that's one of the reasons why they brought him in, and that's one of the reasons why he was the captain when he first came in. This, I mean, this team was at, looking for a captain on the defensive side of the ball. Swearinger fit that role. He got off the reservation. Let's just call it what it is. He got comfortable in his situation. He got off the reservation, and he made some, comp some comments to the co coaching staff. You cannot – that's the one thing you can't – as a leader in that organization, the one thing you cannot do is you cannot go to the media – and make comments. You just can't do it. You can do it within the locker room. You can do it in the closed, uh, closed room setting with the coaches, but you can't go to the media. And that was the big fallout with this football team because it I, happened a number of times. At some point, you got to give. 
See, personally, I had to learn this in my career. I didn't do this with the media, but I had made condescending comments towards one of my coaching staffs. And you know, I found myself on the bench and I never got the benefit of the doubt. So whether I, I agree with the coach or not, and we know we got some coaches in professional sports don't know what they're talking about. Don't know it, it left from right, okay? They don't know it. And you know better as a player because you may have that experience and you're getting things done on the field, but you can't insult a man's job Absolutely. because now he's got he's got family to feed. He's exactly. got mouths to feed him behind those closed doors, he's bad-mouthing you. He's bashing you. And you don't know. It's, man, it's a small fraternity. Come on, Woody. You can't believe that, man. You know better, Woody. Why should we give the Washington Redskins any benefit of the No, job? we shouldn't. Why, we why, should. Why, that's my, that's <laughs> my biggest thing. We can, sit here, we can sit here and talk about DJ Swearinger and how he, you know, should basically keep things in-house. But we're talking about a dysfunctional Washington Redskins, Redskins uh, you know, organization that, again, you know, you go out, you claim Reuben Foss, a guy who's had all sorts of trouble. And there's been many, many instances, you know, uh, with, with the Washington Redskins. So, yeah, do I, as far as DJ Swearinger, should he have kept things in the house? Absolutely. Yeah. But you don't, you don't, we're not in it. Listen, no sports franchise is in the business of giving away good players. This is a, this was a Pro Bowl safety for the Washington Redskins. And I just, to me, it speaks to more so the overall dysfunction of the Redskins rather than, oh, we're just going to, you know, release DJ Swearinger. Man, I just don't understand why I mess your money up. As a professional athlete, all you athletes, like, don't do anything. I appreciate all the young athletes I talk to and mentor. Don't mess your money up. If coach says jump, it's how high. Now, whether I like you or not, afterwards, I'm going to say yeah. what I got to say with my friends and family. But when I get on the court, when we're at practice, when we're on the field, do whatever you're told. Listen, you know what I mean? I mean, Woody, you, you, you got, don't mess your money up. I, I, I just cannot, I'm speaking to Swearinger, personally, athlete to athlete. Yeah, coach, listen, there's a lot of messed up organizations. As a matter of fact, there's more messed up organizations than there are good ones, okay? So you're going to have to deal with some nonsense. It's part of professional sports. Yeah, and